Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to discuss Legendre's linear equation. A linear differential equation of this form where we have this derivative terms in decreasing order and the coefficient of this derivative term is here this ax plus b and so on. Yes, we can check that here the power of this ax plus b is same as that of the order of this derivative term. Yes, here we have this power of this ax plus b is n and order of this derivative is n. Same is here power of this ax plus b is n minus 1 and order of this derivative is here n minus 1. Right? So, this differential equation is a linear differential equation with variable coefficients and this is known as Legendre's linear differential equation. Now here this a0, a1 up to a n these are the constants and this x is here. This is the function of x, right? Now we can write this differential equation in this operator form. Yes, we have write down this is in operator form where what is this? d is here, this d by dx, right? That means we have this is dy is equals to this is dy by dx and up to we can say that this is dn y is equals to what? This is nth derivative of y with respect to x, right? Now this is the differential equation with variable coefficients, right? So we have to find this solution of this differential equation. For this we have to convert this differential equation in a differential equation with constant coefficient so that we can find its solution by using previous methods. For this we have to find the values of this operator here. Yes, so yes as we have seen in Cauchy's linear homogeneous differential equation same we have to proceed here. We have to do the substitution. We have to put here this ax plus b is equals to e raised to z. Yes, we have here this a and b, these are the constants. Now, this differential equation is in variable x and by doing this substitution, this differential equation will get converted in variable z. So, here we have to find the value of z here. z is equals to this is log of ax plus b, right? Now, yes, we have to find the values of this Yes, we have to find all these values here. So, first we will write down this ax plus b into d. We got this value a into this d1. Same here, ax plus b, its square, this d square is equals to this is a square, d1 into d1 minus 1. Same, we have this is ax plus plus b its cube d cube this is a cube this is d1 into d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2 yes and what is here d1 yes d1 is this derivative with respect to z that means we have here d1y this is dy by dz right so in the same manner we can find this ax plus b raised to n, d raised to n, this is a raised to n, this is d1, d1 minus 1, d1 minus 2 up to this is d1 minus n minus 1. Yes, now what is here? This is ax plus b into d here. We have to take a into d1. Yes, we have to write down here coefficient of this x variable this is a here a into d1 now when we have this ax plus b its square we have to write down this a square into d1 d1 minus 1 yes so yes by doing all this substitution this differential equation we will get if we call this is as a first differential equation so we will get 
differential equation variable z right yes now we can find yes now we can check that we will get differential equation with constant coefficients we will get this differential equation yes we will get new differential equation with constant coefficients and we know that we can find its solution yes its solution is given by this y is equals to cf plus pi yes we can find cf and pi by previous methods so that we will get solution and that solution is in variable z right but we want solution in variable x since given differential equation is in variable x so that we have to put here value of z by doing this substitution we will get y is equals to the cf plus pi this is in variable x right and this is the required solution of differential equation 1 yes so in this way we have to proceed for this legendus linear differential equation yes this procedure will get clear by one simple example so yes for this we have to solve one example here so yes here we have this differential equation yes we can check that this is a legendus linear equation yes first we will write down this differential equation in operator form yes we have write down this differential equation in operator form now yes we have to do the substitution we have to put this 3x plus 2 yes we have to put this 3x plus 2 is equals to e as to z so that here we will get z is equals to this is log of 3x plus 2 yes and from this we will get x is equals to this e raised to z minus 2 this by 3 yes now we have this is 3x plus 2 into d is equals to this is 3 into this d1 same here we have 3x plus 2 its square d square is equals to 3 square d1 into d1 minus 1 where what is d1 d1 is here this d by dz yes now we have to do this substitution and this differential equation we have to note down that here we have to write down this coefficient of this x here this is 3 and when we have its square we have to write down its 3 square now we will do this all the substitution in differential equation 1 so that here we will have and we have find value of x here what is we have x we got x is equals to this is e raised to z minus 2 by 3 so we have to put this is here e raised to z minus 2 by 3 it square plus e raised to z minus 2 by 3 plus 1 yes now we have to do the simplification So yes on simplification we got this differential equation yes where we have this f of z as e raised to twice z minus e raised to z plus 7 by 9 yes now this differential equation yes is with constant coefficients yes and this is in variable z now we know we can find its solution its solution is given by this y is equals to this cf plus pi yes so we will proceed for cf and pi yes now for cf we know that we have to write down auxiliary equation and auxiliary equation is obtained by putting this f of d is equals to zero right 
so we have to put this f of d is equals to 0 so 91 square plus 61 minus 3 is equals to 0 now we have to find the roots of this auxiliary equation yes so now we will find root So yes, we have find this roots of this auxiliary equation, this by factorization method. So we got this d1 is equals to minus 1 and d1 is equals to 1 by 3. So how the roots are here? This roots are this real and different, right? So yes, now we have to write down cf. Yes, we know that when the roots are this real and different, we have to write, we have to take two constants c1 and c2. So c1 e raised to this is minus z. Yes, since this differential equation is in variable z, so we have to write here variable z. And this is c2 e raised to this is, this is 1 by 3z. Yes, so this is the cf. Now next we have to find pi. Yes, so what is pi? For pi, we have to write down this 1 upon f of d 1 into this function. So yes, what is function here? We have to put this function 1 upon f of d1 this is 9d1 square 61 minus 3 and this function e raised to twice z minus e raised to z the 7 by this 9. Yes, now we can check that here. Yes, this is of the form Yes, this is of the form x is equals to e raised to ax, right? And in this case, what we have to do, we have to replace this d is equals to, this is a coefficient of this x variable, right? So, yes, here we have this is exponential and same here we can add this exponential function. So, now we have to proceed for this pi. So, for this we will do the separation so yes we will take this 1 by 9 this is outside so now we will operate this 1 upon f of d1 on this three functions so yes we will do this is here now here we have 7 so that means we can write this is as a 7 into e raised to 0 z right yes we have discussed this is in previous lectures so now yes what we have to do yes we have to replace this d1 by this coefficient of this z variable yes now we will proceed here so here we have to replace this is here first we have to replace d is equals to 2 then d is equals to here 1 and in this is here we have d is equals to 0 yes here d1 right so now Yes, we will do the replacement here. Yes, now we have to do the simplification. So, yes, here we have again e raised to 0 z. This is as a 1. So yes, in this way we have find this pi here. Now we have to combine this cf and pi so that we can find solution of given differential equation. So yes, we have write down this y is equals to cf plus pi. Now this is the solution of differential equation 2 which is in variable z. But we want solution in variable x. So yes, we have to put z is equals to this is log of this 3x plus 2, right? Since our substitution, this is 3x plus 2 is equals to what? This is e raised to z, yes? Now we want e raised to minus z. So from this, we can write e raised to minus z, yes? This is 3x plus 2, this is raised to minus 1. Same here we can write this is e raised to twice z as a this is 3x plus 2 it's square right yes 
so now we have to put all these values here so this y is equals to this is c1 e raised to minus z that means we will have here 3x plus 2 raised to minus 1 plus c2 into this yes e raised to 1 upon 3z that means this is 3x plus 2 raised to 1 by 3 right so here we have 3x plus 2 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 this is 1 by 45 e raised to twice z this is 3x plus 2 its square then 1 upon 12 e raised to z as a 3x plus 2 and this is minus 7 by 3 yes so yes in this way we have find solution of given differential equation one which is a yes legendus which is legendus linear differential equation yes so yes in this way we have find solution of this given differential equation for this we have done all the substitution yes so that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching